this clear, because I'm struggling to understand it at the minute. After you're running with Frank Foster, you went to the bistro, where you threatened to knock his head off in public, and then you spent the night at home with Carla. Yes, I did, that's right. Well, all night? Or you took a stroll up Benson Street and spent £12.99 on a quality bottle of whiskey. Which is it? It's both. Only you didn't mention your trip to the off-licence. I forgot. Neither did Carla. Well, she didn't think it was important. In a murder investigation? Look, I also went for a Jimmy Riddle as well, and I didn't mention that. Look, I know you're both busy. And we don't appreciate it when witnesses withhold information that could help our inquiries. A ten-minute trip to the shops. It's That's ten hardly minutes that needs accounting is it? for. A little bit like the grazers on your knuckles. <laughs> There's nothing else. It's a scratch. I did it putting the bins out? And the clothes you were wearing on that night? Oh, come on. Don't you wash your clothes. Oh, yeah. oh, no, no, where, now where are you going? Oh, come on, I've been here all day. I don't want to sit here all night, OK? Us neither. So when you decide to start telling the truth, give us a shout. Interview suspended at 19... Well, all right, all right. Look, I, I can't remember, OK? Because there's a massive black hole where the night should have been because I'm a raging alcoholic. There. You happy now? Better get in the car quick. Don't know what your husband would say if he saw me whisking you away. He'd say you better not have a meter running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my taxi days are behind me, sweetheart. And tonight, it's not about business, it's about pleasure. Better be. All my worldly goods on thee I've bestowed. Two old holes and a fresh go carrier bag. Well, that's all right. You travel light. Rolling stone. Well. Now it's time to gather some moss. Oh, green and hairy. I have been called nicer things. <laughs> that animal. He raped my girlfriend. Not according to the verdict. Oh, come on, don't make me laugh. He was guilty. So you set yourself up as judge, jury no, and executioner? I didn't kill him, OK? A big black I hole. I didn't kill him. I wouldn't. I couldn't kill him. Didn't and wouldn't are two different things. You threatened to harm him. We've got witnesses. Let's talk. I get gobby when I've had a drink. Except the last time you assaulted him, you were stone cold sober. Oh, look, I hated Frank Foster, all right? But I love my girlfriend and my son more. Go to prison? No, not for that scumbag. Not worth it. You would say that, wouldn't you? But the truth is, you were so wasted. You could have massacred half of Weatherfield dressed up as the Easter Bunny and you wouldn't remember a thing. Yeah, except I would have come up with a better excuse, wouldn't I? Because let's face it, as an alibi, amnesia, it sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. So what's the charge here? I walked in here of my own free will. You can't keep me indefinitely. Murder? Or drunk in charge of a credit card? No charge. Yet. But don't go booking any holidays, do you know what I mean? You're early. Well, it's not a crime. It's a smoke screen. That's what it is. Mum. You asked me, your own mother, so now you can ask him. Just because he wears an old-school tie and has a dodgy lining patter. Ask me what? Not the gents again. I thought you called a plumber. As if butter wouldn't melt. OK, Mum, I'll deal with this. Till sure. By how much? Fifty pounds. Oh, not guilty, Your Honour. I haven't even set foot behind the bar. I went to check the roster and then I went. I took a fifty-pound note from a customer, I put it under the twenties. And now it's gone. I see. Was that all you got to say? Well, you took it, you put it away, and now the finger of suspicion is pointing at me. This conversation is only going in one direction, downhill. Pay back the 50 and we won't press charges. You can pat me down, Gail. Look, we've got to ask. We've never had money go missing from the till before. Until he gave you a job. QED. Is that his chance? Call the police. You up? Because I was worried they might change their minds, that's why. Well, how could they? I mean, you told them everything you know, surely? Yeah, I told them everything I know, which is precisely nothing. Peter, we said we'd stick to the story. Oh, the detective drove a coach and horses through your story. Don't tell them the truth. You said they'll get suspicious. Tell them that I was in the flat with you. Well, I told them I was with you in the flat, and guess what? They got suspicious. Peter, that's their job. They traced a payment on a credit card back to Benson Street Offie, a cheap bottle of whiskey. So now, 
Not only do they know that I'm an alcoholic, they know that I'm a flaming liar as well. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to have a word with my son. You remember him? He's a little fella. He's got curly hair. Oh, don't go in there in this moment. How about this? How about you stop telling me what I can and what I can't do? Because so far, it's not proved very successful. You're blaming me? You come home covered in blood, no memory, no sense. The police get suspicious and you're blaming me. You think I did it? Admit it. No! What? Yes, you do. I want to see Simon. Keep your voices down. Hey, don't you start on me as well, right? Look at you, you're a mess. You've got the shakes. Yeah, well, that's seven hours down the cop shop for you. You know, this is how you want Simon to see you. Take him home and All right, him all right. Out. Forget it. I'll tell you what, I'll go somewhere with a warmer welcome. Oh, no. Peter! Leave it. I'll talk to him. Well, here we all are, <laughs> together. Shall we? Kill three birds with one stone, why not? I thought you'd left town with your spotted hanky. <laughs> Pint and a whiskey, Jason. I don't want any trouble. <sighs> this is wonderful. <laughs> When's it going to be a summer wedding, or will you wait to autumn miss some mellow fruitfulness? <laughs> My money's on spring. Dennis won't want to let the grass grow. Oh. This called for a drink. No, no, no. My fiance will get them in. Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> You've trained him up already. <laughs> well, you expecting cartwheels? No. But you could crack a smile. Mm, if I was a hypocrite. What's hypocritical about celebrating good news? You seem to forget he's got form. Norma. Oh, Norma, yes, that was the name, the one he jilted at the altar. That was different. We have discussed it at length. Yes, I, I can see it's all very flattering for you, but a, a true friend would probe a bit deeper before he started popping corks. I mean, what's he bringing to the party? Oh, besides your purse. Norris! Get lost, Norris, and take your sour face somewhere else. Have I struck a nerve? No. You've insulted me. There's none so blind. Are you coming, Mary? I'm comfortable where I am, thank you. Right. Where's he dashed off to? I just brought him ashore. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Here are the dog. Or the straw that broke the camel's back. What's going on, Peter? Carla thinks I killed Frank Foster. And so will you, and I tell you what happened. Needless to say, he didn't own up to it, but when has Lewis ever admitted anything? Well, quite recently, actually. Left to me. I'd have called the police, but Nick's dragging his feet. Well, run off his feet, more likely. Maybe I should do it for him. I mean, it's not going to get any No, quiet. no. Now, he wouldn't thank you for jumping the gun. Quite right, too. I mean, may have made a mistake. Oh, come off it. It's Lewis. Says he loves his job. Didn't even fight for well, it. he was a natural. Come on, you saw how he charmed that reviewer. You can fool some of the people some of the time. Anyway, look, even if he did take the money, uh, Nick won't thank you for broadcasting it. 50 quid, 50 quid. Oh, Gail. 50 quid in here's a couple of steaks and a bottle of plonk. No, Gail, people come in here because they think Nick runs a happy ship, right? Just keep it that way. More drinks? Please. Look, I can't do this. <laughs> it's not the wine. Let's go on. No, you deserve this. Just the same again, please. Look, it is just minor burns, and Marcus is a trained nurse. If there was a problem, he'd call. Have you ever considered that maybe Leslie needs a break from you like you do from her? <laughs> mm? Okay. Excuse me! Mrs. Foster, is everything all right? When your people troll the office, uh, my son's office, yes. did they remove a contract? Well, there was a lot of paperwork to sift through. It was the last through, contract uh... Frank signed. It was the one giving him sole control of the factory. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not with you. On the day that Frank was killed, he bought Carla Connor out of Underworld. They signed a deed of transfer, everything, and it's gone. If your people don't have uh, we it... We didn't take any paperwork as evidence. Oh, have you tried his solicitors? But there wasn't time! He signed it, and then within a few hours, he was dead. Now, without that contract... Take your time. Please, tell your colleagues I need it. I need it desperately. Without it, Carla still controls the majority share of the factory. Does she now? <sighs> Lewis? 
Actually, I'm not really interested in your ill-gotten gains, if that's what they are. Ah, oh, the jungle drums are being busy. Does a condemned man get a last request? Oh, please, now stop the flannel. Really, just tell me. Did you steal from a grandson? Of course not. My scamming days no, are behind. No flannel, I said. Look, last week you were bleeding poverty. Now you buy an expensive jewellery. What am I supposed to think? Well, you can think what you like, Audrey, as long as you do the thinking yourself. And don't stick the knife in because Gail tells you to. It's demeaning. Both of us. Police have finished at the factory. They'll be working in a crime scene. You'll get used to it. It didn't take them very long. What if they miss something? Something important? No, they're very thorough. This is Weatherfield CID, not CSI Weatherfield. So you think they might have missed something? Me? No. I'm sure they're very conscientious. Are you worried about the art? No. It's the contract. The one Frank signed to buy Carla out of the business. It's gone. I mean, the police say lost, but I say stolen. What? But I'm sure the solicitors have got copies. Yeah, I checked. The one and only version. Which disappeared. Well, what does that mean? It means that Carla still owns the factory. Ah, oh, so there might still be some... Jobs! Every cloud has a silver lining. She didn't eh? mean that. My son was murdered. Someone, one of you for all I know, stepped over his body to rummage amongst his files. Um. And you expect me to care about your jobs. I said it. You were all thinking it. <sighs> Feeling better now? I didn't think you would. Lashing out like that's not the answer. My son's dead. My husband's gone with everything to live for. And we're sorry for him. We really are. But regardless of what we thought of Frank... Hell hath no fury like a machine is scorned. Oh, fine, I tried. <laughs> not just Frank. I know you miss Sam. Oh, Sam! I'll never be a granny. I've finished. Don't say that. You don't know what's around the corner. Oh, emptiness and loneliness. They should have bludgeoned me too. Cheers. <laughs> they do say third time lucky. Oh, cheeky. I was lucky first and second time too. And two very different men. Oh, I'll say, Len. Oh, he was a character. What you might call a rough diamond. <laughs> and Ted was a 24 carat jet. Oh, three husbands. I can't imagine it. <laughs> well, happen we shouldn't get our hopes up. That is the end of the line for Underworld. That won't mean anything to you. A job's a job. Seven long years and almost as many bosses. They were the best of times. They were the worst of times. Oh, blow your nose and get the ale in, Nancy. Homophobe. Hey! Pet Shop Boys, Dusty Springfield, Little Jimmy Somerville, I've got them all on CD. Well, go home and listen to them then. I should be checking the situation's vacant. Good night. Looks like it's just you and me, soldier. So, what wets your whistle as a roll? Hunger's a spritzer, man. Thirsty work, this shopping. All been splashing out. I wish. No, nope. all for the bistro, this. What? It's got you working on your day off. It must be love. Just showing some initiative. Very quiet in here. Where's Spider-Man? Carl. Oh, sulking somewhere. I can't believe you didn't film him on the roof. <laughs> it would have been a YouTube sensation. He'd never speak to me again. Would that be a bad thing? You'd probably miss him. Eventually. When I need to call Mr. Dustin. <laughs> yes, Beth. Half a lot guitar. You can't remember where we parked the car. Quid says I can. Hey, have you learned nothing from a night out with Carl Monroe? All right. All right, Tenor says I can. You're on. <laughs> Third row down, fourth car in from the left in between the two saloons. Most women can't do that. I'm not most women. Basically, it's the car with the numbers on the roof. The builder has stopped returning my calls. Mm -hmm. That's builders for you. You never know where you are. I should know. I used to work for one. <laughs> I thought Tony was one of the good guys. He knew how we were fixed, so we'd be in by tomorrow. He's not even started the plastering. Does that mean that you're going to be staying at mine for another week? Hmm? Sounds like a bonus in my book. And mine. 
I won't off miss you when we go. Hi. Hello. You're gonna be well chuffed with me. Got the chili oil. Discounted, cos it's a new line. Nuts. Olives. Did you get my note? I've got my picking safe key, so I had to take some money Money from, from the till. Fantastic. Uh, so what was that about the till? See? Yeah, it must have slipped down the back. Hear that, Mum? Eva dipped into the float. Guess how much she took? Don't know. Hey, go on. Hazard a guess. Fifty pounds. I owe you fifty pounds. Looks like we've got some groveling to do, don't you? Who's going to go first? Please, please, sir. I've been waiting for you to come home. Look, I apologise, all right, if I called it wrong, but I was just trying to protect you because I love you so much. Please, sir. I believe in you, Peter, I promise. I'll put your pipe down and please come home. There she is! Do you know, I've got the best solicitors in Manchester and all the time in the world to fight now that there's nothing left of my family. Just not now, Anne, all right? It was a clever move. But I know my Frank. He was thorough. There'll be preparatory paperwork, witnesses. You'll never get away with it. Get away with what? You stole the contract. It must have been you. The rest are too dim to understand its value. What is she wondering about? Or they despise you too much to take the risk. Was the body even cold, Carla? Did you rifle through his pockets before you went to his briefcase? Oh, well, I will find a copy and I will prove that you are not the legal oh, owner of Underworld. Coming. And then the only stitching you'll be doing will be mailbags. Listen, and do yourself a favour. Do you remember your engagement? Three whole bottles of wine, a ticking bomb, and even then you walked away unscathed. Unscathed? Why didn't you smash through the windscreen and do the world a favour? All right, all right, it's enough. Calm down, the pair of you. That way my Frank would still I be here. Enough. You know, this world's a better off place without him. Yeah! Yeah. Right, Did you call the coppers? Would you step outside with us, Mrs Connor? They know. They know it all. They Mrs have Connor! Oh, Carla, are you listening to me? Carla Connor. I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder no. of Frank Foster. No! What are you saying? She's innocent. This, this is madness. Lewis? Lewis? Huh? Oh, you're still here. Well, my taxi days are over. Eva took the money from the till. She borrowed it. I mean, we got it wrong. Oh, right. Look, I'm sorry. I should have had faith in you. Yeah, Gail can be very persuasive. You should remember that in the future, huh? Persuasive, but prejudiced. I'll see you around here. No, please wait. I'll speak to Nick. Honestly, I'll get your job back. You love that job and they loved having you. Lewis! 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 Somebody's been a busy bee. Stock taking. That what you call it. Boy wonder not with you. Oh, come on, Norris. Give a girl a break. Oh, don't come the little girl out with me. You've been round the block often enough, Rita. You ought to know better. Is it wrong to want to be happy? Useful? I... want both of those things for you. But not with him. It... He is a sponger. No. He was unlucky. That's different. And a flirt. In the past. But I've told him he's on a short lease from now on. I don't intend to lose touch with my pals, cos I need them. And you can hold me to that. Mm. Anyway, we're going for a spring wedding. No point in hanging round at our age. All the same, one must keep one's dignity, Rita. You can talk about that in your speech. You will be making a speech. <laughs> in what capacity? I'm hardly Dennis's best man. No, but you're mine. Here, take this jotter. Note down ideas as they come to you. <laughs> the 
tradesman's entrance. Anyone would think you've got something to hide. Nope. No skeletons in my closet. <laughs> Nor mine. I'll walk you home. All that way. I won't get lost. <laughs> Thanks. That was a blast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'll uh, have to take you again. My lucky charm. <laughs> Bet Stella would love that. Mind <laughs> you, if she knew how much you'd want tonight. Sunita. Um, about Stella, do me a favour and... Yeah, OK. My lips are sealed. <laughs> Same for death. I didn't think we had uh, something to hide. <laughs> Happens now? Well, you know the drill, Carla. You've been arrested before. That was a long time ago. For being drunk. That's how we got your fingerprints. What? The ones that match the whiskey bottle. What whiskey bottle? The one that killed Frank Foster. No. So what happens now is that you sleep here tonight and tomorrow we start our questioning. Listen, you have got to believe me. I did not kill Frank. I know that's what they all say, but... That is what they all say. Good night, Carla. <laughs> 